First, we have some definitions. In a right triangle, the side that is opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. The other two sides are called the legs. The Pythagorean theorem says that the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the two legs. In this figure, we have labeled the hypotenuse C and the two legs A and B. The theorem can be stated as A squared plus B squared equals C squared. To help justify this theorem, consider this example. We've placed a right triangle on the coordinate plane and we have the lengths of each of the two legs equal to two. Let's place squares upon each of the three sides of this triangle. The areas of the squares that are on the legs of the triangle are each equal to two times two for a total of four. You can verify that by counting the boxes in the squares. The area of the square that is on the hypotenuse is eight. You can verify that by counting the boxes in the square. You'll see that there are four whole squares and then another eight half squares, which add up to four more. So the entire area of this square that was built on the hypotenuse is eight. In our triangle, a squared and b squared are each four, and c squared is a sum of those two numbers for a total of eight. If you know the lengths of two sides of a right triangle, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the length of the third side. For example, Suppose that you are given that the lengths of the two legs of a right triangle are equal to three and four. How long is the hypotenuse? Using the Pythagorean theorem, we have that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So three squared plus four squared equals c squared. That gives us that nine plus 16 equals c squared, or c squared equals 25. Can you now tell what C is equal to? C is that number whose square is 25. We call that number the square root of 25, and we use the square root symbol. The answer is 5 because 5 squared equals 25. If you have a calculator with a square root symbol, you could key in 25 and then press the square root symbol to get the answer of 5. Here's another example. Given a right triangle whose hypotenuse is 13 and one of whose legs is 5, how long is the other leg? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Substituting, we have that 5 squared plus b squared equals 13 squared. 25 plus b squared equals 169. So b squared equals 169 minus 25, which equals 144. Then b equals the square root of 144. With a calculator, we key in 144 and then the square root symbol to get the answer of 12. The Pythagorean theorem enables us to find the length of any line segment on the coordinate plane. For example, suppose you are asked to find the length of the line segment between the points a and b, whose coordinates are 1, 3 and 7, 11. AB is the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Let us draw the point C at the bottom right corner. AC and CB are the legs of our right triangle. C has coordinates 7, 3. Remember that the length of AC is obtained by subtracting the x coordinates, giving us 7 minus 1, which equals 6. The length of CB is obtained by subtracting the y coordinates, giving us 11 minus 3, which equals 8. Using our formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We have 6 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. 36 plus 64 equals c squared. So c squared equals 100. Then the length of ab is the square root of 100, which equals 10.